ever since i was a child whenever you look at the sky there are so many things there but one thing always used to pop out to me the moon and some days i used to see the moon over here and some days over there it used to keep moving across the sky and even just a few hours that i'm looking say in the beach i used to see it somewhere near the sea and suddenly it's right on top and i used to wonder what exactly is happening and some days i see it's a full circle and some days i see that it's suddenly the way i see it in all the books and in every single book that i read the moon's always drawn as this beautiful crescent with a nice nose and a smile and i used to go what makes the moon change its shape so easily and almost you know every single day and then there were times where i used to also think whenever i'm traveling especially if it's a long journey right if i'm going in a train from one state to the other so it's like a two day journey i used to just sit in the window and keep looking outside and notice that everything is whizzing past so quickly the trees the fields even the mountains they're going back a little slow but yes they are going but somehow the moon knows exactly where i'm going it's following me everywhere and i used to keep thinking how does the moon know where i am how does it keep following me wherever it is that i go and the more i used to think about this the more i began to get really curious about what this moon really is and as i began to look at the moon there was one side of the moon where one of my friends used to say he sees a crocodile on it and i used to go look at it and look it's nothing like a crocodile so i asked my granny what's there and she said there's an old woman who sells milk and or something like that and but one thing i did think about is how is it that i don't keep seeing different sides of the moon right whenever i look at a full moon there are some there are some patches on one side and it's always that so if the moon is rotating i was told that so i thought i should keep seeing various sides of the moon so the more i thought about these things the more i wanted to learn about what this moon actually does and why we see what it is that we see but the one that i was most curious about is how does the shapes change how do the shapes of the moon change in a way that it makes us see it every single day and it comes back to its full shape again now now that you want to get ready to understand this deeply let's imagine the sun to be here right let's get really really big let's imagine the sun's here a little ball in our hands and a much much smaller one called the earth and the moon going around the earth now this might typically be how you imagine this right wonderful this is exactly how i imagined it and then i thought great now the moon is over there at the other end which means that all the light from the sun that's going to fall on it because there's only one source of light within the solar system right there could be stars that are coming from outside but as far as inside the solar system there's only one source of light that's the sun right as far as the big objects are concerned so you have the sun and it's going to give light out but the earth is going to block all the light so i thought great all the all that the moon will get is a shadow and then i look at the textbook and it's written oh that's when you'll see a full moon and i was like oh my god if the moon is there at the farthest end then i should not see anything at all right so if i were to take this here and really see what's happening for a while i was really really confused because i thought when the moon's here there must be shadow you can't see the moon when the moon is here again you should see a the moon blocking the sun so something very very weird has to be happening eclipses have to be happening all the time right what's an eclipse when the shadow of the earth falls on the moon or of the moon falls on the earth so both this should keep happening every single month but i used to keep reading about eclipses as a big event right yeah people write in newspapers about it that wouldn't happen if it happens twice every month so all these problems began to get solved when i realized that this is not how the moon goes around the earth no if the earth is here and the sun is somewhere there in this plane then the moon goes around the earth like that and it's just a very very small tilt it's a 5 degree tilt but it makes all the difference as far as what we see in the sky all the difference because if it were not true right when the moon is here what would you see the shadow but if it is tilted up like that then what do you see the moon being lit completely right because if you notice the moon it's always lit half right now just forget about the earth for a while just watch the moon as it's going is there a time where the moon is not lit half there is one side of the moon that faces the sun and one side that doesn't so that half of the moon that's facing the sun is always lit so when you look at the moon it is not that the sun is lighting the moon differently the sun and the moon are in perfect agreement it is where you're watching it that is becoming different so if you look at the moon it's always lit half if you look from here it's always lit half it does change when you go to the earth and start looking at the moon 